different. Um, this is, well, I was watching that Carl Rittenhouse thing, um, and then other trials started coming up, and then this came up, and this seems fucked up. <laughs> but it's Joe, Jody Arias. It's a chilling case of Jody Arias, and what I could work out, she killed her boyfriend. <coughs> supposedly but yeah anyway let's do this and if anyone has got anything like this request it request shit like this as well so yeah let's go when I came in here hoping that you would tell me the truth and this is not the truth Joey this is all I know this is, does not make any sense I believe you went to Travis's house on Wednesday absolutely not it was, I was yes. nowhere near Mesa it was nowhere near no. Phoenix you did Nothing changes for me. You did. I'm just telling you're you talking about, about things just, just people I care about. You're talking about everything but how bad you feel about Travis. You only respond to my questions. If I were Travis, about I would Travis. be very remorseful. I think that I, I've gotten the wrong picture of you. I think that, you know, you know, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe you are that cold-blooded person. I can't breathe until you are There's nothing you can say that will change my mind at this point. This is an elaborate story which does not make any sense. Hey you and welcome. My name is Mike and in this here video, you guys, we're going to examine the death of Travis Alexander at the hands of Jody Arias. Travis Alexander was a traveling salesman and motivational speaker he and Jody began dating in 2007 and ended up in a long distance relationship. In 2008, Travis was found dead from what Jody Arias would say was self defense. Was it though? When you think of crazy stalker X, think of Jody. Let's look at some interrogation footage, what she tried to frame the story as, and generally what the case is about. Come on, you've seen my videos before. Maybe. If you haven't, hey, you and- No, but I guess I'll watch some more. If it gets past you too. Travis was born in 1977 in Riverside, California. A case that's not in Canada or Florida? Weird. He was introduced at a very young age to the Church of Latter-day Saints. And then I and then she's over here, so I'm looking at my peripherals and I don't want her to turn this way. And I'm like, shut up. And he's like, shut up, shut up, shut up. And I got this guy against my head, you know. But the good news is they didn't kill me. And uh, oh, I'm fine, I'm gonna ask you. see the dog. He would go on to be a salesman and a motivational speaker for a multi-level marketing company. Jody, on the other hand, was born in Salinas, California in 1980. She showed an interest in photography at a young age, which continued throughout her adult life. Her childhood years are pretty unremarkable. However, she said she was an abused child, claiming her parents hit her with wooden spoons and a belt. Who didn't get the wooden spoon growing up? Travis met photographer Jody at a 2006 conference and hit it off. Before they parted, Travis, then 30 years old, and also 30. a devout member of the Church of old. Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, urged Jody, 27 at the time, to read the Book of Mormon, not the South Park guy's piss take, the, the actual book. Within months, Jody converted to Mormonism, and the pair began a romance that Travis's friends thought was a bit, uh, toxic. When Travis broke up with Jody five months later, he told his friends he felt guilty about breaking his vow of premarital celibacy. Oh, naughty boy. Straight to hell. Yeah, um, over those five months, they exchanged 82,000 emails, which is insane. According to Jody, the relationship ended because she did not trust Travis. She would later allege that Travis was a sexual deviant who was physically and sexually abusive to her, and that he wanted her to be his personal slave. Yet, weirdly enough, if he was like that, their breakup didn't end their contact. After ending their official relationship, 
Jody and Travis would keep seeing each other until Jody eventually moved back to California, Travis, Arizona. He also began seeing other women. And Jody? She didn't like that. This, I guess you could say, short, fiery relationship, only five months. Um, after Jody was a lot more invested than Travis was, she would do anything for him, and also to him, including killing him. Around this time, Jody would slash his tires when she popped down to Arizona, hacked into his Facebook account, stalked him on dates, and sent vicious, anonymous emails to the women he was seeing. He also told his friends that one night <laughs> at his house, uh, Jody <laughs> snuck through the doggy door while he was sleeping, which is hilariously creepy. <laughs> In a blog entry, Travis wondered if some date might have an axe murderer penned up inside her. He uh, already dated her. He also told his friends, uh, don't be surprised if I end up dead one day, which is a normal thing to say. However, despite all this, Bizarrely, Travis and Jody continued to maintain their sexual relationship. In early 2008, Travis told people that Jody would join him for a work-related trip to Cancun, Mexico, scheduled for June 15th. However, a few months later, Travis asked to change his traveling companion to another female friend. Then, on May 28, uh, 2008, a burglary occurred at Jody's grandparents' house. Uh, she also lived in that home too. Among the objects missing was a 25 caliber automatic Colt pistol, which was never recovered. Wonder where it went to. On June 2nd, 2008, Jody rented a car from Rent-A-Car in Redding, California, and drove to Travis's home in Mesa, Arizona, where they took pictures of them having sex together in various nude poses. I couldn't find those pictures. Sorry, lads. Well, that's a lie. I did find them, but I don't want my friggin' channel deleted. Come on, guys. Travis then missed an important oh. conference call on the evening of June 4th. On June 7th, Jody arrived back in California and returned the rental car. Before she did, while on her way back there, she met with friends in Utah, and one said he noticed Jody had dyed her blonde hair brown and she had cuts on her hands. Weird. And when she returned the car, the employee there noticed that the floor mats of the car were missing and that there were red stains on the front seat. On June 9th, with no one having seen Travis for a while and having been able to reach out to him, uh, some of his friends decided to pop by his house. Entering the house, they found pools of blood in the hallway to the bathroom, where his body was discovered in the shower. When the police arrived, his friends specifically mentioned Jody as a possible suspect, telling them all the things Travis had said <laughs> for stalking, hacking his social media, and tires. What's going on? Um, a friend of ours is dead in his bedroom. We, we hadn't heard from him for a while. We think he's dead. His roommate just went in there and and so there's lots of blood. I didn't go in, but I, I can give you the phone to someone who went in there. Can, yes, please, can you? Hello. Hi, so what's going on? He's, uh, he, he's dead. He's in his bedroom okay. in, in the shower. Okay. How did this happen? Do you have any idea? No, we have no idea. Everyone's been wondering about him okay. for well, a few said, days. She said that there was blood. So is it coming from his head? Did he cut no, his head? No, it, it, it's all over the place. No. That I'm condoning what she did, but that was a piece of shit move to do to a, a girl like, and that that's the sort of. I stay obviously. I just had a fucked up relationship, but still, to like have her come in with you somewhere and then change. At the like, I changed the thing to another girl. You are asking for something. Uh, fucking, there's a reason why hell has no fury. Like a woman scorned exists and is so fucking frequently used. Is because it's true. It's like you and you're sort of like, uh, like asking. 
for something, and they just seemed like they had that. I'm not saying that she <laughs> should have shot him, but it's like right. I thought this was going to be just her, like, crazy bitch killing her boyfriend, but, like, I can see why a girl would shoot a boy that done that. Is there any weapons around? You know what I mean? No, I don't know. I Not that I saw. What the fuck? Did you find I need... All of you outside. Has he been threatened by anyone recently? Yes, he has. Okay. He has a he has an ex girlfriend that's been bothering him and and um following him and slashing tires and things oh, like that. Oh, that bitch could not relate. And do you know the ex girlfriend's name? Um, um, do you remember? Yeah. What's what's his ex girlfriend's name? Ask Taylor. What's that? And do you know if he's ever reported it to the police? Um, her, his, her name is Jody. No, he hasn't reported anything about Jody's behavior. They also found the camera, which had the so sexy I mean. time pics on it, which were taken at <laughs> approximately 1.40 p.m. on June 4th. The final photograph of Travis Alive showed him in the shower, taken at 5.29 p.m. that day. Photos taken moments later show Travis profusely bleeding on the bathroom floor. A bloody palm print was discovered along the wall in the bathroom hallway. It contained DNA from both Jody and Travis. Jody was arrested at her home on July 15th and extradited back to Arizona in September. Investigators say that Jody stabbed Travis 27 times slit his throat and throat. shot him in the head with the gun that was reported stolen from her grandparents' house. Fuck me. She all said right, that right, during right. that trip she took... That is crazy shit. I just thought she fucking... Like, that, that's different. That's a big fucking... But then... It's passion people do things but still that's a I think stabbing someone is a big fucking difference to just pulling a trigger right you could shoot someone and not even if you didn't understand what the fuck it was going to do and you just went bang you could be a bit like oh fuck like, I'll just literally kill someone but to grab a knife stab them 27 times cut their throat then fucking put a bullet in their head like Oh, she was mad. Oh, that bitch angry. From Redding, California, she never went near Travis's house. I'm talking to a lot of people. I mean, everybody's pointing a finger at you. I know. You know, everybody is singing. I don't understand what happened to Travis. I don't know. I love this shit. Let's look at Joe. Let's get the bitch. And sometimes the simplest answers are the correct ones. And that's one of the reasons I started looking at you a little bit closer. I'm kind of just putting two and two together. Well, I and, and, it, and it kind of matches. Is it Monday? The second? Right? And you didn't get to Utah until Thursday until yeah, it's usually Thursday. So Thursday, that's the fifth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Monday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Okay, so we have, it's like 48 hours there, but, well, obviously three days, but there's plenty, there's 48 hours. So this trip took you a little over 48 hours, so. Um, I have a problem with this trip. Well, I went okay. first, too. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know you went down here. I've done all of this trip over and over. I'll just say that. And I'll pay for it. And even if, if there's still 20 some odd hours, even if you pulled over to sleep a couple of times. Oh, did I tell you that I got stranded? Yeah. You mentioned that. If you slept for 10 hours, I only slept for here and hours. here, it would still leave 18 some odd hours. 
or something else. Okay. This is what people are focusing on. This is trip that you took. I did not go near his house. Isn't there are there I pulled your cell records. Your cell phone was turned off. Between here and here. Okay. But the last place oh. I pulled it was here. The next place it turned on was here. What does that show me? Oh, well, I began. Oh, no, no, no. Is there plenty of time for you to do that? Yes. I want to know, yeah. And I, do I believe that you had come to visit Travis? Yes. I truly believe it. Did you have the opportunity? Yes. You were traveling alone. There's no other witnesses. Your phone just happened to turn off from here to here. Well, I didn't turn it off physically, but it died. And then it magically, he, oh you found your charger here? It was I was under the, act under the seat of the passenger side. And it was when I was... When you were lost, you couldn't have maybe pulled over and found it? Or... Well, I did finally start looking when I was stranded. I wasn't even close to him. Um, what if I could show you proof you're doing? Well, Would that change your mind? I wasn't there. To be honest with you, Joey. I was not at Travis's house. I was not. You were at Travis's house. You guys had a sexual encounter, which pictures and we know there's pictures oh that's fucked up i will show them to you okay she so, fucked him and killed him what i'm asking you is for you to be honest with me i know you were there are you sure those pictures aren't from another time positive there's so much evidence in that house so much and it all points to you I I lived there. To be fair. I was there for months and months and months. You're here. To be fair, if that was true, if there was so much fucking evidence, uh, they wouldn't need to question her anyway. So it must be something they need. Well, they need her to, to confess. It does make the job easier. But... If there was that much evidence, they wouldn't be fucking questioned that. So what the fuck? I thought they got the pictures. I suppose they just cannot. They can't necessarily prove she did it. Just because her DNA is there, she went there, and she fucked. But didn't they say there was pictures of him after? How the fuck have they not got enough evidence? It's weird. Your left palm print at the scene in blood. What's going on there? Well, I can explain the blood and the hair. I don't know about my left palm print. How can you explain the blood and hair? Well, because I used to bathe in the palm in all the time. And um You haven't been there since April. Right? Mm -hmm. He's had the house playing several times since then. And this hair was not just a hair, you know, from the shower or something. This hair was stuck with blood. It obviously had blood on it. At the time it got stuck where it, where it ended up. My There's hair no would have been way. All over. There's no other hair. Can you take place. can you take a hair sample? And we like, have your DNA. No, no, but I mean like you know how they could do drug tests and find out when things are done? No, can you we can't do that. Can't you measure the time? We have DNA matching that hair too. Okay, I know, but my And that hair had a follicle on it, and that means that that hair wasn't there very long. The follicle will usually dissipate and go away after a certain time. It'll fall off the hair itself. Well, then I would okay. brush my Joey, hair there. I mean... This one... She should do it. Cannot... Can, cannot explain that way. You either had blood on your hand, and you touched the wall, or there was blood on the wall. It must be so fucking frustrating. In, hold on. We go for a little bit longer. Could my palm print have already been there? I touched it. Joey. Joey. This is over. This is absolutely over. You need to tell me the truth. Listen, the truth is I did not hurt Travis. Okay, so we're Joey, safe. you can continue to do this. Lawyer up, bitch. Lawyer up. Records check shows you that you has reported a, a gun stolen, 25 auto, just happens to be 
same caliber as the weapon used to kill him. If you want, I can show you some pictures of him. Do you want to see pictures of him? Part of me doesn't, part of me doesn't. Why, because you don't want to remember? No, I Joey. just, there's a morbid curiosity. Joey. I wanted to know how he died. We can keep playing these games over and over again. I'm not going to believe you. All when right. you start telling me the Listen. truth, then I can believe you. But I can't deny this evidence. I can't. The trip he took doesn't make sense. The opportunity was there. Your pictures on that date with him. Your blood is in the house. Mixed with his. Mixed. Not alongside, but mixed. Your hair is there with blood. And your palm print is there in blood. I, it's over. Was it? No, I don't want to know. Alright, that's why I'm going to stop it. What I was going to say is, um, it must be so fucking frustrating to have to deal with something like that where you fucking know they're lying. <coughs> but obviously, you have to talk to them on a level. If you just go out there screaming and shouting, I go, you fucking. Because there's bits in it that I could feel like. From just her sort of way she's asking questions and trying to divert him off the thing, and it's like you can't do that with a fucking someone like him. This is his job. You're in there trying to get away with your first murder. He's seen every fucking body try everything, and it must be f so fucking fr frustrating to like to just sit there going, "Look, I know you're lying." Like, I'd be like, "To fucking just say it." You fucking lying motherfucker. <laughs> but, well, I did see the fucking, I'll, I haven't watched this, so I did, I'm learning all the back bit of this case, but I watched a bit of it, an interview of, I'm guessing the main prosecutor, so him, who wrote a book about it after talking about the evidence and shit and the, and the point where he got her so I sort of know that bit but it must be fucking this is weird but yeah anyway that's part one part two will be coming up